Hi, my name is Stephen Bailey and I'm a neurological surgeon that practices here at Simon Hill. Well, neurosurgery is uh, different only in what it focuses on. We focus primarily here on the uh, aspects of the nervous system, that is the nerves leading out to the body, the spinal cord, and also what we call the supporting structures of the nervous system, that is the bones, the disc, and all the muscles and all that surround the spine. Uh, we focus primarily on spinal conditions here at uh, Simon Health. By far the most common conditions that we see are spinal stenosis, which is nerve compression in the back from arthritis that leads to significant back pain and or leg pain, as well as disc herniations that can lead to leg pain or arm pain and neck symptoms which can lead to the spinal cord not working, problems walking, or pain radiating into the arms and legs. No, in fact, most things that we treat do not require surgery. I would say that for all comers that uh, present to our office, that we usually only operate on between 5 and 10 percent of those patients. Many things can be treated with injections, pain medication, uh, activity modification, or physical therapy. That can be a very difficult question and sometimes that, that is a question that can't be answered by a person just like surfing on the internet. Most of the time, however, if you need a neurosurgeon, it means there's a surgical issue that may need to be evaluated, such as nerve dysfunction, that is problems using your hands or arms that may be coming from the spine. Uh, but very often, you might end up being seeing your primary doctor and uh, letting them help you make the decision whether or not a neurologist or a neurosurgeon needs to see you. And sometimes, even they can't make that decision and you just simply have to go to one and then let the specialist decide. Our goal is to get you better without surgery. Our goal is to make you feel better, improve function, uh, uh, improve your quality of life without ever having to cut on you. However, sometimes surgery is the best option. And if that's the case, we will make that decision together with you uh, in terms of you being informed and having an understanding of the risk and benefits to your life.